What's going on you the tube? I am Hot Mess Ness, MUA, otherwise known as Vanessa, and today's video is a quick impromptu video. It is another edition of It's on Sale. So I am doing this very quickly with quick swatches just to give you a rundown because Urban Decay announced that the Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope palette and the Daydream palette are both on sale. They're on sale on the Urban Decay website and they're also on sale at Ulta along with the lipsticks and I believe the Liquid Lipstick Single, it's a gray tone, is also on sale on the Urban Decay website. The duo of the Liquid Lipstick on Ulta.com is not on sale, but these items are. So this is the shade Bun Bun. It is on my lips. It is currently on sale for, I believe it's $8.50. This is a comfort matte. It is an amazing... It is a comfort matte. I love this formula. This formula has made me want to go out and get more Urban Decay comfort mattes. The packaging is adorable. And I definitely suggest this one. Now the other shades are much more bold in your face. They're like pinks and purples. Those kind of shades I don't wear on the regular, but I definitely suggest this lipstick. It is so beautiful. And then you pop in that it's now 850. Yes, yes, yes. Then there's the Daydream palette. It comes with a, a pretty, you know, nice brush. It's in my makeup bag like that I take with me. It's a pretty good brush actually. There are five matte shades and I really believe that this and this make a complete palette. I know a lot of people look at the Kaleidoscope palette and they're like, all the colors are kind of what draws you in, but there's nothing to tie it together. And I have been using this a lot. I'm actually starting to make a dent in the shade Lucy. And I enjoy the Urban Decay formula, especially when they're consistent across the board. When their matte formula is on point, it's the kind of formula you can dig into like really dig in with your brush and you get pigmentation and you get blendability and it's soft enough. It's not like, it's not like crazy, oh my God, this is gonna change your life, but it's nice, easy shades. They're the kind of shades that like, you just don't mess up. So a lot of people would be like, I already have these in my collection, they're neutrals. Yes, yes they are, but I believe that this is now $13. So it's a nice little, travel size neutral palette. I take this in my purse a lot and I can add it to any other fun bold colors and we're just going to share them with you right now. So right here you have the shade Lucy Daydream 1212 subscribe and 8. I absolutely believe for five shades for you know 12 13 dollars if you're looking for an extension in your collection for more mattes or something that's maybe more travel friendly, I definitely would suggest this palette. I really do like it. I've been using it quite a bit. Now moving on to the Kaleidoscope palette. Color lovers were excited because there were pops of color. People that don't like the change were really irritated by the use of space. I actually saw a blog post today where they were going over the collection because I'm actually trying to find the single. I think it's called SGH and it's that, you know, mustardy color and I can't find it anywhere. But one of the people actually wrote in the comments like, no one should buy this palette because brands need to know that they're wasting space on a palette and it's bad for the environment. What, what difference does it make? I mean, honestly, this is cardboard. If this was a big honkin' plastic palette that was all perfectly in a line, this you can recycle. So I just look at like, if people didn't have something to complain about, they would just be bored within the beauty community. Uh, I like this palette. It's fun. It's inspiring. I definitely feel like I need this one to go along with it. So we're just gonna hop into the swatches. Okay, up here you have the purpley pink Spitfire. You have the blue that's low. 
you have this darker blue that is TRM. I don't know what that stands for. If you're a Kristen Leanne, I'm sure you know what that means. The purple is dye. She has her own hair company called Arctic Fox. This gold shade is called Stay Gold. The orange shade is Tahine. The lemon lime shade is called Lime Time. And then the black shade is called 13th Floor. And it is very black. This side you have the rose gold shade Corona. And then this is the split duo pan. Leo is like the white base with the blue shift to it. And then Brixton is the white base with like a pinky sparkle shift to it. And these are your transformers that you can use on these shades. So let's just run a little bit of the pinky color right there. And we'll take a little blue to right here. It almost turns it into the top shade. But they're fun. It's just, it's a fun palette. The one thing that actually irritates me is how small Lime Time is. Because it's like the world's tiniest shadow. The other thing I find a little irritating about this palette, and this is being nitpicky, is the pants, just visually looking at it. Get down. <laughs> the pants, just visually look, looking at it, they don't all look level or even like leo looks like there's less product than brixton but you know it is what it is overall like this palette never use the brush i think it's a fun addition to anyone's collection especially if you like urban decay products i feel like this sticks with the urban decay standard because you know how urban decay can be really good or it can be like me i feel like this sticks with the good you know, I have no complaints about this palette. And now it is $18. So, in my humble opinion, for the is it worth it now that it's on sale, if you're looking for more color in your life, you don't already have a bunch of Urban Decay palettes, I feel like this one, the quality is up there and it's good and I like it. If you can get past, you know, the layout. I can get past the layout. It doesn't bug me. And as far as the neutral one goes, yeah, do you, might you already have these shades? Yes, but the convenience of the two of these, the packaging, how light they are, it's like literally these are the kind of things I could travel with. I don't travel, but if I did, I could. So overall, I just wanted to share with you guys the swatches, let you know the deal. And, um, and that's it. That's me sharing with you what's on sale. Here's a close up of the kaleidoscope and that's Corona, Leo and Brixton. Usually I do up close swatches and all that, but like I said, this was just going to be a quick, let you guys know it's on sale, it's available, and this is currently on Urban Decay's site and Ulta.com. It is not yet on sale at Sephora, but my guess it'll be the weekly wow next week on Sephora's site. So if you miss it on either of those, I suggest buying from Urban Decay because if you sign up for their, you know, club, their little email, whatever, you get free shipping. Ulta, I think you have to spend 50 bucks now to get free shipping and that's no bueno. So there you go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the collection or you want to see some better swatches, let me know in the comments down below. I can always throw something up on Instagram stories. We'll see. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.